my job is to work with extraordinary people and find extraordinary people and help them to really amplify their impact. And it's a great job because there's a lot of extraordinary people in the world who have amazing perspectives to share, amazing ideas to share, uh, and it's great to be able to work with them and help them to shine, uh, shine light on their messages. How many people here are familiar with TED and TED Talks? So this is a great example of what really is a new era where authenticity is everything. Being genuine really is the most important thing. It didn't used to be like that though. Really as, as recent as the early 2000s, we lived in the era of scripted, buttoned up shouting. It was, I need to tell you how amazing I am and how amazing my product is. And it's about shouting at you and interrupting you and telling you about how great everything I have is. And I would, that's what really led to the challenges of Enron and WorldCom and the banks. And it was an era where people would put up nice stock images of smiling children or a wise tribal African man or a blue collar worker with a hard hat and put some buzzwords up there and say, well now we care and we know what people want and we're really in tune with communities. And we still see this sometimes, unfortunately. People write this nine paragraph long email with all the right words and all the right buzzwords and all the exclamation points and it's really just an empty shell of a message that's really not even there. Or, uh, and I love this stock photo because there's not even anything on that uh, screen. She, giving, giving a, a perfect professional facade in a presentation and putting on a nice fake smile after every slide and how happy you are to be presenting. And really, this, this era is, is over. You know, where, where we're really headed, where if we, if we really want to live in the now, it's living in this era of unbuttoned wonder. Scripted shouting doesn't work. Being unbuttoned, being real, being authentic, being genuine, having personal conversations, making personal connection, being honest, this is what works. This is what resonates. Take James Franklin's introductory press conference. Here's a guy who's being real, he's being honest, he's being transparent. He says, we're going to dominate the state, and he's just being honest about it. And that has spread like wildfire. There's hats and t-shirts and pins and magnets that everyone's talking about this dominate the state. And it grew because it was real, and he just said it, and it was honest. Unfortunately, it seems like the Penn State administration is still trying to live in the scripted shouting era. People are calling on the university to be transparent and to be open. And the university launches transparency.psu.edu and says, now here's our effort to be open. And then they rebranded it as openness.psu.edu and now they actually don't even run the website anymore. But it wasn't, there's a difference between being transparent and then just trying to say that you're transparent. I mean, transparency theater is not really the same as real transparency. I mean, just look at Friday's Collegian. It was Ryan Bagwell suing the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania to try to unseal the actual decisions that are being made by our leaders because they're not being transparent. Or look at other campaigns like the Faces campaign, which actually I can be critical of because I was a part of this. This is maybe actually a, a, a good idea in theory. Let's shine light on Penn Staters doing great work. But the result was we're going to shout and put big pictures of people's faces downtown and talk about how great Penn State is. Or as Christian alluded to, actually my personal favorite, Penn State lives here. So uh, I'm not sure where to begin with this because we can really dissect this on a lot of levels. Um, so the, the first is really the approach, right? It's the old era approach. It's let's hire some big name consultants from Texas, who this is their website, which says that they connect brands to audiences through next gen programmatic and content marketing solutions. And so, yeah, let's give it up for that, for Pulse Point. So, and they actually probably did some really good work in talking to Penn Staters and trying to understand the richness of our brand. Um, but then they came back and said that this is what Penn State is. This is Penn State's DNA. 
a list of nine bullet points that could really be said about any institution in the world. You know, people comment on how large organizations are out of touch, large organizations don't care, large organizations are evil. I think it's because of stupid lists like this made by phony people like these. You know, this is not the Penn State that I know and love. The Penn State that I know and love is the amazing people coming together from around the world, being part of amazing research, amazing scholarship, going out, making a tremendous impact in, in the world. It's about being able to be in Bangalore wearing a Penn State t-shirt and someone comes up to you and says, hey, I went to Penn State too. Uh, or it's about, you know, being an alum and being in a workplace and people are asking like if there's something in the water there because of the allegiance that you have to this institution and your fellow alums. Or it's about in 1947, Steve Suey saying, we are Penn State, there will be no meeting, standing up for his fellow athletes and coining something that still really genuinely resonates to this day. That's what Penn State is. But the Penn State administration decided, how do we want to share what Penn State is? We want to paint, Penn State lives here on the side of a barn and put tarps all over our buildings on campus. And let me go back to the barn picture because there's, there's a lot here actually. If you look, this is part of a video called Get To Itness! Exclamation point. And it's actually part of a series of videos. There's inspiration meets perspiration. What lives here? Head meets heart. And you can see how successful it's been with the, the number of views. Um, <laughs> it's, and then, so because people didn't really get it, they're like, okay, so we need to explain this. Let's launch our explanation tour. We'll go around the country and we'll explain to people what our marketing means. Uh, you know, it's, it's really no wonder that this happened. I just want to look at this for a minute. <laughs> and then they actually got it back up and this happened. And if you can read this tweet from Jillian, um, the sign actually ripped and fell down again. And she says, Penn State really does not want to live there. <laughs> the lesson here, though, is that this era of scripted shouting is over. The era of unbuttoned wonder is really the new reality. We need to be real. We need to be genuine. We need to be authentic. I mean, think about why uh, were Bill O'Brien and now James Franklin revered in this community. It's not because they're football coaches. It's because they're real. They're authentic. They're leaders. We want to follow them. Who wants to follow some sleepy academic who's just putting out airbrushed statements? And maybe it's the airbrush statements and this kind of airbrushed approach that has actually led us to a lot of the challenges that we're having now. Maybe it was the fact that Dr. Spanier required all the Board of Trustees meetings to be so carefully scripted and concocted that we weren't having the honest conversations that we needed to have. When you graduate, we need you to be leaders in society. We need you to be real. We need you to be authentic. We need you to be true. And we need you to call out leadership that's, that's not. You know, we're more than these contrived campaigns. We're more than putting on a professional facade. We're more than those fake emails with all the exclamation points. And don't get me started on exclamation points. We really need to live in this era of unbuttoned wonder. And when you're living in that new era, when you're actually having real conversation with someone, you can see it. You can see it in their eyes. You can see the fire behind their words. You can see the passion that they have. That's what we need from all of you. Welcome to the new era. Thank you. Thank you.